Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look at verse number 10 first. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. You ready? Look what it says. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So he qualifies to say, listen, all of us are guilty of something. We've all done wrong. From the pulpit to the back door, all of us have messed up toward God. <laughs> See, I'm going to make this thing personal. See, when I think about what I used to do, what I used to be, God loved me in spite of me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, go to first john first john first john chapter one first john chapter one well, well I, I i i heard i heard y'all say well i ain't do nothing pastor i ain't do nothing i'm not in that none category all right first john chapter one <laughs> First John chapter 1. Look at verse number 8. First John chapter 1, verse number 8. Look what it says. If we say that we're not in the none category, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we are in the none category, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Amen. <laughs> so if you sit there and say, ain't nothing that wrong. Come on. Look, the Bible say either you lying or God lying. And God, the Bible say, cannot lie. So then who does that leave? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Go to go to uh, go to First John, chapter four. Now, God just does not love us. Watch this now. God is love. So everywhere I see God, I can really replace that with love, because that's who He is. He is the personification of love. He just don't happen to come by love. No, the Bible say he is love. Amen. First John chapter 4. Look at verse number 8. First John chapter 4. <laughs> verse number 8. Praise the Lord. Look what he says. Well, let's start at verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Jump down to verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There's no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him, watch this now, because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. But he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. <laughs> now watch this. Here's what God's saying. Since I am love, God says, and you say you are in me, 
then you ought to be a demonstration of the love I have for you toward others. See, that's the fallacy that we have on Sunday mornings. What you mean, fallacy on Sunday mornings? Sunday mornings are the most segregated hour in our country. You know, typically, whites go to a white church, blacks go to a black church, and Hispanics go to a Hispanic church, and so on and so forth. We segregate ourselves, and we say, we love God. And God says, if you really love me, y'all be together. Y'all, 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 y'all would operate in, in this oneness that I've been trying to get y'all to see. See, Jesus said, Father, I pray that they will be one just like we are one. I pray that they would demonstrate the love that you and I have with each other, that they would do that among themselves. The love of God. God, God said, listen, I, I, I want you to know how much I love you. And, 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 and not only do I want you to know how much I love you, but I want you to share that love with other folk. Look, look, the devil has tricked us to not want to share with one another the love of God. Because after all, what are they going to say? What are they going to say? If I, if I approach somebody and I say, hey, I love you with the love of God, what are they going to say? They're going to look at me kind of funny. But here the Bible says, if you can't love your brother in the natural, how can you love somebody you ain't even seen? Amen. I'm, I'm, see, now watch this. You can't love your husband or your wife right here in the natural, and you're going you gonna to try to go to heaven? I love the Lord, and he heard my cry. Yeah, he heard your cry. You better go get, get that thing right with your husband or your wife. See, because when I talk about love, I'm talking about an action word. See, 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 God loved us and put that love into action. And if we all have the love of God in us, that should be some action in our walk. Mm. Look at verse number 9. Go back up to verse 9. 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. Watch this. In this was manifest the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might, might live through him. Mm-hmm. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation or substitute for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Hold your finger right there in First John. Go back to Second Corinthians. Watch this. Okay. Now, verse ten says it had a big old word called propitiation, and that word really just means substitute. Okay. So.